Hi guys and welcome to Excel VBA using MDAS calculator with uh, the various arithmetic operators. Alright, so let's see how this works. Clear. Let's clear that and enter some other data in there. And select subtract there. Division. Addition. Model loss. There, that's how it works. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Excel development environment. I will put one of these together. Let's do that now, guys. Hi, guys, and welcome to Excel VBA tutorial of MDAS calculator using the various arithmetic operators. I'm going to start by click on clicking on the development menu here. If you don't have your development menu right there, all you need to do is to go straight to file click on file and go straight to the options right here in the options you will then have to enable the developer menu and there we go right in here excel option and drop that down you see where you have the customized ribbon click on the customized ribbon and right here the developer menu must be enabled if you can't find it here just select popular commands you should be able to see it there and then click on ok and that's it so come right here now select visual basic or you can always select alt f11 as you can see here and that opens up the development environment so now go to insert right here click on the insert and let's select user form now drag the user form that much that's fine now all we want to do is then go in here you see where we have the frame just drag the frame around you don't have to do that I just want to make it look a little bit presentable I just want to jazz it up yeah that's fine so I'm going to copy that again. Hold on to your control, click and drag. There we go. That is it right there. Now then reduce it. Just give it a bit of flair. Right. The choice is yours. You do not have to do this. I'm just doing it because I like it. Right there. I'll move this here okay we're gonna need one more grab this and just dump it right here and that's where our button is going to be reduce that so i'm going to add about three buttons there okay okay the next thing we want to do now is i'm going to add option box there we go and I would also add labels right here and a text box there and just select this very one and click and drag then repeat that again there and underneath here I'm just gonna add buttons I have one I'll make that two just click and pull make sure you hold on to the control click and drag there that is it now here I'm going to select the option button here and let's increase the font size I don't think I need these tools anymore fonts let's increase that to something readable make that bold and come right down here and let's add maybe 22 okay and right in here i'm going to give that a name just call it o p b addition so that is the name of the option box option box now the caption here for this option box that is it right there I'm going to change this caption to addition as you can see there now 
let's copy this now I'm now going to copy that hold on to your control click and drag we have two now and three four right let's change this one to subtraction and the name is going to be OPB sub right the next one here this is going to be known as OPB division and change the caption to division and this one right here we're going to change that to multiplication and the name is going to be OPB mount there that is fine so we'll repeat the same thing for these ones as well um, let's just change the option details there the font details I'm going to make that about 20 as well let's come right down here make that bold scroll right down and look for 20 there we go and this is going to be known as add go to the caption enter that's the first number All right and the next one is going to be known as second number All right that is fine enter second number the second one here let's grab that paste that in here and change this one to second number right that's fine let's drag this that much okay that's fine so let's reduce this text box okay here this one is going to be known as display result okay that's the caption change all right now this text box i'm going to call that txt first let's change that back to what it was txt first the next one is going to be known as txt second and this one is going to be known as txt display right now these three buttons let's get them sorted first of all I've selected it all come in here and change the font maybe I'll make that about 22 for those ones right and select the very first button here I'm going to call it C C M B that is going to be result and the caption change the caption to result this is going to be clear CMB clear text content on it you can change that to clear or reset and finally this is exit CMB exit text content will be exit there I had to show the whole steps because the the particular individual putting the, this request is a new beginner so for those of you seems to understand how this is done so you just have to bear with the beginners so this is for beginners okay let's add one more option buttons here so I'm gonna move this up something like that and click on this and just drag it down we're gonna call this one modulus there and the variable name we just call that POB mode there all right that is done so let's declare 
let's call that um, in there I'm going to enter the global variable there then so let's say option explicit and I might as well just get rid of this so underneath there I'm just going to declare the following variable so F would be for first number second number result and all of those my variables will be declared as double that is it done so the next thing now is let's go back in here I'm going to double click on this very button there double click on that option box and inside that option box I will say first number that is going to be by value remember that by value first dot text and the second one is going to be by value as well that is txt second dot text close that up and the r that would be for the result first plus s that is it done so now that i've added the two input in here the first text box second text box they are all added here i'm just going to copy this and let's go back to the form itself double click on subtract and paste that in there change this to subtract now let's go for division paste that for division and enter the operator for division multiplication paste that for multiplication change that to multiplication and as for modulus double click on modulus as well and change that to mode there we go mode done now to display the result i want the this button to trigger the function to display the result so i'm going to say txt display dot text that will be equals let's convert whatever r has to whatever we have inside r to string character so we enter r here there and that is that done okay have a good look at the lines of code they are all the same the only different the only different is just the operators there we go so i'm going to run it now let's click on run and enter first value in this and second value so let's click on maybe subtraction there we go division addition let's multiply that and modulus there we go so that is all done now so let's take care of the clear and the exit button double click on the clear in the case of clear all I just need to do is clear all of the text data that I have in here clear this and that becomes clear repeat the same thing for first and second number should be an equals there the second one as well play that as well and let's take care of the exit and to exit we just enter unload me that would do there we go that's it so let's try it out run so we enter whatever value in there and carry out our operations there we go model loss let's say the vision and so on subtraction division model loss and clear exit there run it one more time so as you can see all of the buttons works multiply there we go and that's how you create your own mdas calculator in excel 
so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now and bye for now